Alright, it's Artemis here, and I've been noticing that there that other people on the team have been starting a lot of solo projects. And so I decided, hey, none of them involve me, so why don't I start my own solo project? That will show them. And so I have decided to start playing flash games on the internet that are free and that you can play too. And so I decided to kick it off with my favorite types of games, uh, Tower Defense game. This is one of the more, not, if not infamous, just famous games. Vector Tower Defense. Now then, um, I guess we can just get right going. And, of course, the real secret to all Tower Defense games, I've been doing Tower Defense games for years, it seems like the secret to all Tower Defense games is to simply always, always, always upgrade your towers. Normally, the first wave is kind of difficult, but look at this. I'm just tearing ass. And so, basically, if you don't upgrade your towers, you're going to have a much higher chance of failure. But if you upgrade your towers, you're basically guaranteed to win. And that, that isn't true for all tower defense games. Some are more balanced than others, but most are that way. Just because it's very difficult to balance... Um, it's very difficult to balance upgrades so that they're not overpowered or underpowered. So I appreciate why it's that way, however, it's still kind of hilarious. Um, although I will not all... Uh, uh, <laughs> God damn it. I will not be exclusively playing tower defense games. I will also be playing platform games, um, and basically anything else that I find on the internet. And if you want, you can send me suggestions of games to play and I would be more than happy to play them. <laughs> so basically, this is just me being bored because everyone else on the team is doing their own thing and I need something to do. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious because green towers do extra damage against green monsters and so it's just, bam, everything is dead. Now then, I have to admit, I'm kind of biased as to what towers I build. One thing which I've noticed is that I always seem to get screwed over when I start buying the really expensive towers, and so usually I don't. I think that's perfectly reasonable, but I've had people get very angry at me for not buying the expensive towers. But what I always do? Buy a thousand and one damage boosters, because they, the, those shits are broken. Those shits? I don't know, can you use... Can you use shits in that context? I mean, you can call kids little shits. But I'm not sure if that really applies to Flash games and the monsters therein. Also, are these really monsters? I mean, they're called Vectoids. So, what the hell is a Vectoid and why are we killing them en masse? Are we just, like... Are we trying to wipe them off of the planet? In which case, isn't that genocide? Am I committing genocide? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. It's really weird. Normally I go on these random ass tangents very late at night, but it's actually 3 in the afternoon right now when I'm recording this. For the first time in a century, I'm actually recording this at a decent hour. Anyway, so I have two fully upgraded towers, and I'm basically set for the next few rounds, because there's very little that can touch you when you're this strong. Now, I'm actually going to go against what I originally said, and buy this, which is a comparatively high-level tower. However, it isn't that expensive, and it only costs 200 a pop to upgrade, so I don't feel that badly about it. In later games, I do. Um, there are sequels to this game, which I find that that tower is complete ass. This is... I'm not sure, but this might be the only Vector TD game which I've actually 100%ed. Um, but don't quote me on that, because <laughs> I actually don't remember. Uh, as I said, I've been playing Flash games for years, so it's very difficult to remember everything that I've done. Anyway, I just bought another damage boost, so now everything is doing 50% more damage, which means that if I wasn't overpowered enough before, I am now even more overpowered. So, I... Moral of the story is... I don't give a shit about what I'm talking about. <laughs> Moral of the story is I don't even know what I'm talking about. 
Um, and I guess that's fine and completely normal. Yeah, if you think that I normally know what I'm talking about, you obviously are very new to this channel, in which case, oh my god, awesome, we have another subscriber! <laughs> oh, and we didn't, we were going to make a celebration for our 10th subscriber video, but we never got around to it, so I just want to say quickly on camera, thanks guys, we're at 10 subscribers, I know most people do milestones at like, oh my god, we got 100, 100 subscribers, but you know what, this is a milestone of sorts, because... When Richard and I started this, we kind of expected this to not do anything, and the fact that it's even gotten this far or may, makes us both very happy. So we just want to uh, we just want to take a moment and say thanks. Well, I do. I don't know if Richard would, but I, I will for him because I'm such a nice guy. And I'm not sure whether I want to buy a range up or another damage up. I think I'm gonna break my usual habits and buy a range up just because. Oftentimes I get screwed over by these things, tiny ranges. So, and now, some of these are very good. Like, this one, I don't know if it's true in this game, but it, but in later games, this is one of the most over overpowered um, towers in the game. So, you know what? I'll try it. I mean, it, oh, it's doing 2,000 some odd damage. How is this balanced? Also, it also slows down stuff. I, I have to wonder if this damage is... If there's a catch in this damage, because otherwise that would just be ludicrous. Um, and why would you ever use any other tower, considering the fact that it only costs $300 and only 150 to upgrade, so after the third round it's basically free kills. Because, <sighs> I mean, I'm on, I'm on level 17 out of 40, these things have seven, like, just under 800, 8,000 HP a pop, and yet I'm still tearing through them, like they're freaking butter. Because, <laughs> tearing through butter, now there is a new one. Um, holy crap, I, I can't tell if my um, commentary is ridiculously ADD or if I'm being incredibly interesting. It's basically a 50-50 chance with me, so... Now then, once again, breaking my rule a little bit, I am going to buy a little red spammer. It's also relatively cheap, but I find that they can be pretty good. Also, while I'm at it, I just want to mention quickly that I love the soundtrack from this game. Um, the fact that it changes constantly is amazing. Um, and it's actually... Normally, I listen to my own music while I'm playing tower defense games. I don't know if I'll do that while I'm recording. Probably not, just because I don't want to get all up in your face with my music. Um, buying another damage tower just for kicks. Um, however, this is an exception, because I, the music in this is catchy. It's not unpleasant, like a lot of catchy pop songs. Yeah, I'm opinionated. And... It's just, it really fits the mood of the game, and I don't know, I, I have sort of a weak spot for tech now, I guess. And for the record, I hate fast waves. In every Flash game ever, I hate them. It, well, every tower defense game, because it'd be kind of weird if, like, a non-tower defense game had a fast wave. Although, there are those really bad Mario Flash games in which... I think the goddamn Goombas go at 50 miles per hour. And yes, I know this because when I was younger, I had an obsession with Mario and spent embarrassing amounts of time playing Mario Flash games. I might go back and revisit a few, but it's definitely not going to be 100%. Um, I think at this point, since I'm at level 24 out of 40 and I'm tearing ass still... I'm probably going to 100% this, but don't expect me to 100% um, uh, the any Mario games which I do, or basically any platformer that I do, because if you do, you'll be sorely disappointed. That's the advantage of tower defense games. They tend to be very short, except for ones like Gemcraft, which are like RPGs, and they just sort of copy-paste all the levels. But a lot of them are more like this in the fact that they're relatively short, and... They're just 
You know, the little... The, the Twix bar, which you sit down and play quickly. Now then, I am actually debating what I want to get here, because I don't really have a good place to put a damage tower, and um, I have plenty of lives, and I don't expect to be losing any anytime soon. Don't want to jinx myself either, but... I don't know. Maybe I should just get myself my get myself a nice interest increase so that I am um, now that I have six percent in um, interest I should do a little bit better see got like a hundred bucks there to be fair I'm over a thousand so that's not a huge achievement but well then I don't have any purple towers how many times have I said now then during this video I I honestly don't know it's just sort of a nervous head like now then, 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 okay. I totally lost track of that. Holy crap, this thing has epic range. Maybe I should buy another range up. Oh my god. Dude, that's a lot of damage. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm real. I'm sitting comfy here, so maybe I should get a real, whoa, got a bit, a bit flying there. Um, maybe I should get one of the really expensive towers like this one. Uh, I actually think that I will. That, that'll be an interesting change of pace, and I don't seem to be having any problems. If I do, I can just quickly build one of the lower level towers and upgrade it to full. And good. Alright, so I'll put that there. Um... It's got plus 75% increase on damage, so multiplayer and multipliers kind of get silly. I'm considering just selling this. This is basically useless at this point. It does very little damage, but um, it is what it is. Fuck it. I'm. Yes. I'm going for it. Living on the edge. That'll give me space for another, I guess, range of damage booster. I don't know. How about damage booster? Oh, well, that's a problem. They're actually getting somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't fuck me over here, game. Yes. All right. Now, if I wasn't quite overpowered enough for you, I'm even more overpowered. Fuck you, fast wave. Fuck you. Okay, um... Nope, we're good. I was never so sad. <laughs> Holy crap. This is... This is 65,000... HP. So, shit's getting real here. Um, it might have been a bad choice to sell that tower, but probably overall I'm doing more damage just because I put the damage booster there. I don't know. We'll see if that's true. If I die. I don't know. We'll see. Now, this is only on level 3. I've sunk a ridiculous amount of damage into this, but it's doing over a thousand damage, which is pretty impressive. This is this is doing under half that, and it's one of my better towers. Um, this, of course, is probably my most powerful. Although, to be fair, I don't know that for a fact. Um, that's actually doing like a third of their health apiece. So I don't know why I said that. That's one of my most most powerful ones. I oh crud! Did I hide my mouse for this recording? That would have been. Inconvenient. Hang on. Oh, son of a bitch, I did. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I bet you have no idea what I'm clicking on right now. Um, but no, I was talking about this tower being powerful. Um, so I, I feel kind of like... I, I feel a little bit like a dickhole now. Because I was like, Here, look at this! <laughs> LOL, you can't. And this is doing 666 damage. It's Corn's favorite number.
this is kind of this is getting kind of silly. I'm probably gonna build another range booster just because these guys are getting shockingly far, and that makes me nervous. I need extra range on my towers. So if this ever goes away, that was too close for comfort. Yeah, that's reaching. Okay. And send Vectoids. I used to think that said Velectoids when I was like 12. I don't know, when did this game come out? Does it have a copyright on it? I don't know. I'd scroll up to check, except then they would totally screw up what you're looking at. I wonder how many times I've gestured at something with the mouse and you guys have just been totally lost, like, what is he trying to point out to us? I am sorry, guys. Holy crud, I am very close to winning this. I'm at 37 out of 40 lives. And that's fully upgraded. Which is very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just buy more of these because they seem to be pretty OP. I'm in the home stretch here, which makes me happy. Um, and this is going to be actually a relatively short video. Expect these videos to probably be longer in the future because it's some of these games do drag on. Um, and eh, it is what it is. We'll deal. And I mean, that's that's the price you pay for playing stupid internet flash games. You get your life sucked away. So whether you're doing it to give people on the internet entertainment, or whether you're doing it because you're profoundly bored or sick or somehow need to bore yourself as efficiently as possible. I don't know. But either way, it's it's a interesting little useless pastime. So I'm not gonna... Uh, and God knows I'm not exempt from playing them for hours upon hours upon hours on end. So I... I don't know. Uh, also, depending on what people tell me, I, if you want me to, I can give links to each of the games in the description, um, or I can just tell you what to Google search. Um, I guess tell me in the comments which you'd prefer, because it's, it, it really doesn't matter to me, and if it would be convenient not to have to do, oh, bugger, that's, all types. God damn it, I did not remember this being part of the game. Fuck you, fast ones. Fuck you. I think I might got this, though. I don't know. Honestly, an all, an all types round is probably one of the easiest ones to beat, just because you're going to be getting every single tower attack. Like, every single tower is, a, is attacking at least one that's a specialty. So, and like a boss, every single one of my towers is fully upgraded. So, official documented proof that Artemis Scott finished Vector TD, and so, also another thing about this, this is not going to be edited at all, I'm just going to take it, post it, and so that means no introduction, no finish, I'm just really going to be lazy about this. But, we're, we're good, so, um, I can't figure out how to stop the recording, oh, there it is.